most wonderful time of the year. One minute to air, Mr. Lorenz, Mr. Okay. Haywood, Ms. Applewhite, Ms. Sherwood, Mr. Fillmore. This is your one minute call. One minute to air. It's the most wonderful time of the year. This is WBFR Playhouse of the Air. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and greetings from WBFR Studio A in Manhattan, New York, right here in the U.S. of A. I'm your host, Freddie Fillmore, and it is my pleasure to bring you your favorite stories this and every week on Playhouse of the Air. Tonight, we bring you a real feel-good heart warmer, perfect for this or any other Christmas Eve. It's a wonderful life. There'll be parties for hosting, marshmallows for toasting, and caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmas is long, long ago. Hee-haw! Forget about what, George? Oh, nothing, Sam. You remember Mary, don't you? Hi, George. Hi, Mary. So you wouldn't mind walking Mary home, would you? Of course not. Is that okay with you, Mary? Fine by me. Great, thanks. Hee-haw! George walked Mary home. Is that important, Joseph? I'd say it is, because even though Mary lived four blocks away, it took them two hours to get there. <laughs> Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight. Come out tonight. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight? And dance by the light of the moon. <laughs> Hot dog, oh boy. Just like an organ, gee whiz. Beautiful. You know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. Well, why don't you say it? I don't know. Maybe I will. Uh, hey, look where we are. Oh, the old Granville house. Uh, yeah, I, I got to throw a rock. Oh, no, don't. I love that old house. Don't you know about deserted houses? You make a wish and then throw a rock. But George, I wish I lived there. I wouldn't live there if I was a ghost. Now, watch this. Pretty good shot, huh? Broke a window. What's your wish, George? Not just one wish, a whole hatful, Mary. I'm shaking the dust of this crummy old town off my feet, and I'm going to see the world. Italy, Greece, the Parthenon, the Colosseum. Then I'm coming back here and go to college and see what they know. And then, then I'm going to build, build airfields and skyscrapers a hundred stories tall and bridges a mile long. And, and hey, what, are you going to throw rocks too? Uh, hey, that's pretty good. What do you wish for, Mary? Oh, no, if I tell you, it might not come true. What do you want, Mary? Do you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso and pull it down. All right, I'll take it. And then what? Then y you can swallow it and it'll all dissolve, see? And the moonbeams will shoot out of your fingers and your toes and the ends of your hair. And, and, and am I talking too much? Yes! Why don't you kiss her instead of talking her to death? <laughs> Who's that? Old man Collins on his front porch. Ah, youth is wasted on the wrong people. Oh. 